Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I'm out with Scotty riding. He has a Grom. In case you didn't know, he rides a CR300L. You've seen him on, but this is his 2022 Grom that he's racked up a ton of miles on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. I remember how how big the wheels are, but not even then. Yeah. It didn't even have an oil change yet. It's only a 259. No doubt. We just uh, haven't I'm, had the chance to ride it. I think I got 10 miles on my CT125. Uh, we checked the seat height. So mine is the seat height is an inch and a half higher and my bike it actually weighs about 25 pounds more than the Grom and then uh, of course he's done a few things he has he put the crash bars on there which T-Rex racing they're pretty cool put the bark busters on he's got a rear rack it came with it but it's a sweet little bike I like it um, he's thinking about getting a CT125 also but we're gonna take and take these things out and I'll let him ride this one here in a little bit and see what he thinks we're just going to ride him around town because he's on a pretty much street only. But hey, it's a Honda. You meet the it, best it people on a though, Honda. <laughs> they're, they're so small and easy to ride that I feel, I'd feel more comfortable taking this thing where you probably shouldn't. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just because you can kind of throw it around. It's a cool thing about being so lightweight. Yeah. I don't know what the gas mileage on this thing. I know this one. Uh, this one's over 100 miles. 100. This one says 110 miles per gallon average so far. Yeah. So this one, I think it gets around 110, 120 mile a gallon or something. It's crazy. Yeah. Now it's a good thing because this thing only holds 1.4 gallon. I don't know how much yours holds. I don't think it's uh, much more, if not the same. So we can be hooligans on these. I think it's a hoonigan. <laughs> hoonigan. We can get yeah. in all kinds of trouble on these. <laughs> but the difference is, too, on his, now he has a manual clutch. Yep. Now this one, we have the automatic clutch, so you don't have no, you know, it is pretty cool, Not I think, not having to clutch it. Yeah, and you have the back shifter. Yeah. The, the sepher, whatever you call it. Yeah, it's got the automatic shift, back, clutch, basically, so... It's basically pulling the clutch in whenever you pull up on the lever to put in gear. It's doing the same thing, just doing it for you while you shift instead of having to pull on the lever to do it. But these things be a lot of fun. Let's go left up here. Okay. I mean, even this thing, when I rode it every single time, it's a blast to ride. They're just super fun little things. And I feel like, especially for the kind of stuff that we do, you know, I, it's funny because originally I wanted a Trail 125. It's just there was nothing anywhere even close. So I just, yeah. I got this thing. And, and now you, you know, can pretty much get Groms, but you can't get these. They're just new, I guess. These will eventually get that way where you can get them too. Of course, this is a 2023 and they just come out with the 2024, but they're not. I don't think anybody's got any yet, but they will for too long. I thought that was us. Well, it is, except for... Yeah, we got to wait. we got to wait. It is if you're brave enough. This one does have a fuel gauge. Does yours have a fuel gauge? Yep. This oh, that's right. This basically almost has... It's very close. It's not the same, but it's close to the one that's on the 300L. Yeah. Now, this one, I don't think it tells you the miles per gallon. And yours does now. Right? Yeah, it shows miles per gallon, how many miles, and it's got the... Uh, R just, RPMs and everything. It's got, it's got the fuel gauge and the time. Yeah. So this one ain't got the time. Uh, all it's pretty much got is your speedometer, your fuel gauge, and how many the miles. I mean, it don't. There ain't no. Uh, do you have a gear shiver indicator, a gear indicator? Yep. Say that you don't. I don't have that either. Yep. I'm in fourth. I'm in fourth gear right now. Is that a five speed or? Oh uh, yeah. Now this is four. But your shift's pretty much the same as a 300L, I bet you. First all the way down, then neutral, then second. Yep. Right. But it's crazy. These things are just so comfortable to ride. That's, yeah, no that's, what's, that's what's wild. Like, I, that's what I'm saying is, like, take it, I feel like taking the monkey out on the, on the actual trails would be so, so fun. Right. Now, two, uh, the Grom he has, now it's made for a passenger. This one is not. Um, 
Now, the ones overseas, maybe Japan, I think they are somewhere, but they're, they actually have the foot pegs and everything for a passenger, but this one does not. It can be done. Well, yeah, you were showing, showing me that it looked like yeah. it already had the, the spots there for it. They just don't have bottom. It. Which is probably something, I don't know if we'll ever ride double on this or not, but it's handy sometimes if you wanted to. Well, and the thing is, I think over in European countries and stuff, over there, they have, they do a lot more two-up than we do in America. Well, uh, over there, you know, like, like in Laos and stuff like that, they actually have passenger foot pegs and seating for like six. Yeah, they got the side seat here, the one back here, they yeah. got the one on the front. On the handlebars. I mean, yeah. <laughs> got the place for the refrigerator they carry. <laughs> yeah. Carry a couple bicycles with them. <laughs> I've seen people tripled up on a little bike like that. <laughs> no doubt, that's crazy. I've seen people piled on these things. It's crazy how much that they'll endure. <laughs> So yours is pretty much like a monkey. The difference in the monkey is it's more off-road oriented. Yeah, this is just, uh, you know, almost, almost like a, like not really a pocket rocket style, but it's it's weird. It's kind of like in between like a pocket rocket and something else. Yeah. I forget what they called it. They said it was a mini version of something. And the motor is pretty much the same on that one. I don't know if that one has the oil filter like this one is. The 2022 of these did not have an oil filter, but the 23 does. We'll have to look at that when we stop and see if you have an oil filter or not. Because this, they evidently changed the whole engine case. The engine is totally different, probably, than the 2022. We're fixing to climb that mountain here in about five minutes. Yeah. I'm talking about the one here on the right there by that speed limit sign. Yeah. <laughs> that mountain right there. A uh, guy commented on things said, cool part about he's got one and he said, the cool part about this thing is it will go anywhere and I mean anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that's what I said is even, even for me, I'd be like, I'd be more comfortable taking that on some danger stuff and just roll, slow roll it and just hanging out and having fun. Like right. even more so than 300, because at 300, 300L you got to commit more. I feel like than something this right. small. Something this small, I can almost walk the damn thing up. If, if, the, if, the, yeah. if the spot was tight, you could push the damn you, thing up. If you easy. get into trouble, it's not near as big a deal on right. That's Right, and that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, crashing, hitting a brake or whatever. I know you've never done that, but if you hit the front brake and you oh, go down, that. on this, there's less chance of that happening because you're already on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a shorter fall, but yeah. So inches. yeah, if you fall, it's a lot shorter distance to get there. Yeah. <laughs> Your teeth is further away from the gravel. <laughs> so let me pull up here. Yeah, you do have the oil filter. Looks like over there. Yeah. See the little place for it down there. So I'm surprised. I didn't know that had it, but they didn't on this one. They do now. I don't know what oh. we were waiting for. Oh, right, right. right. Yeah, I'm just going to go down here toward Wilcox, take a left or something, I don't know, just kind of go in random directions. Wilcox, the town? Oh, you know what, we might, <laughs> we might, we can go right up Wilcox, we might be able to find that little area that's kind of, there's, there's some like little back roads that are almost like dirt in town. Oh, really? Yeah. I think they're over on that side of town, over by the hospital somewhere, we can drive over that way and look for something. We are going to be hooligans. So I got this thing tagged today, got that done, got my crossbar put on, got my USB up here put on so I can charge my cell phone or whatever, put my GPS up on here. Got to have the GPS, the Garmin. I have no luggage on it yet, anything like that. You definitely got little bitty tires. Your tires are fatter than mine, they're just, you're fat and short and I'm tall and skinny. Yep. I think it's actually backwards. Yeah. Yeah, mine are shorter. A bit. It looks like the sprock is about the same size. Now, there's no center stand on that either, is there? Uh, Just side stand, yeah. Yep. So it's cool because this has a side stand and a center stand. It has a electric start and kick start. 
I mean, they definitely thought about, you know, you're going to be out somewhere adventuring on these things. And, and you might have to work on it. And, yeah. Yeah. Because I, I bet they, they, oh, it's a left turn. We're good. We'll go this way. Left turn this way. We're going to take a left this way. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was well, right. No, it's it left, left signal, which means we're oh. clear. We're clear <laughs> to turn right when it's left on the opposite. Oh, okay. I hear your uh, license plate vibrating. Yeah, on, it does a little bit. On the plastic. I, mine did that, too. And I took a put a piece of uh, double sided tape out of there just a little bit stuck it and that way it don't it's hitting on that to the aluminum. Yeah. Stop that silly noise. I think I know which road it is. It's the one by that circle cap here. Well, we'll these go things down that are way. Quiet. You ain't gonna get in trouble for breaking the sound barrier. No. <laughs> Unless I hit fifth gear up here. I just wonder how much blinker fluid this thing holds because I can run out of it on my other bike. Oh, I, it's funny. I thought. <laughs> oh, no, you wasn't. Oh, no, you wasn't doing it. <laughs> I had to check. <laughs> no, you wasn't doing, doing it. I just, I just wonder about this one. Not that time. But yeah, I mean, you, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, you just throw these suckers around. Now, see, my legs are well, pretty close to about the same. You're a little bit, probably a little shorter than I am. I got uh, 32 inch inseam. I think I'm like 30 or 31. It is funny. I wonder what the kind of looks that people give us riding these. Because like, like, I don't that, even know. They're just like, that, what the hell? Is that grown men on the little mini bikes? I know. What kind of bike is that? I think it's a toy. This thing definitely turns heads. I've had several people already. What is that? I want to check that out. I've been one of them. And, yeah. Um, when I was at the uh, license office to get tags, there was a guy there. He had two of them right there, the CT110, 70 some models, uh, like brand new. He just restored them. They was yeah. nice. Hey, for him and his wife, she was taking the driver's test. And... Yeah, when I was at the mall, got a, got a couple in a truck passed by, and uh, dude stuck his head out the window. He's like, "Is that a Grom?" He's like, "Hell <laughs> yeah!" <laughs> That's funny. The people that like these Groms are fanatic about it. It's crazy. There's a huge cult following for these, any oh, of these man. 125 bikes. Yeah, it's true. And they got lots of different things made for the Grom. Yeah. Now, there's, there's not as much for this one as far as there's some, there's some racks and stuff. But I've not found anything for this Trail 125 that is that they make here. Like from T-Rex Racing, nobody like that. Yeah. Well, I think it's because it's probably because this bike people like to convert into a bunch of different setups. Right. And the the while the the trail has some stuff like parts for it, it's mostly got its vibe, and everyone just has like there's a few different things here or there, but they all lean toward that you know the dual sport on road off road you know. Right. Kind of setup. So whether it's just you know, leaning a little bit more into the rugged side or the street side, there's just a little bit of that. But with the Grom, people go all out with these things. I mean, they go every which direction. They make <laughs> full-on, you know, full-on ADV setups, and, you know, they do street bike setups and whatever. Crazy. Yeah, I've seen people take them and make them where they're off-road, but tires on, change the fenders where they're off-road fenders. If you're going to buy a new one to do that, you better off just get a monkey. And you're already pretty much there. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. That's why I originally wanted a monkey, but um, I was going to teach the wife how to ride, which she did learn how to ride pretty quick. It's not that hard, but, I mean, you don't really need to, I don't know, at the end of the day, you don't need to learn how to do clutching and stuff. Don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. Don't go out there. But uh, the main reason why I chose this in general, because, well, because of the fact that you actually get one, but also because it had, like, full shifting with a clutch and everything. Right. Yeah, it's, but at the end learn. of the day, it ended up not being really worth it. Right. So we'd have been better off just getting a, uh, you know, a, you know, a trail 125 and just going with that. Right. It still work out good. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, you feel like you're in control though. So that ground, how many miles do you say you got? 264. 264, so it's, yeah. it's, still it's, nothing. it's still broken yet. Yeah, the thing is, I love this bike. It's just not going to fit the purposes that we were going to do 
right. going forward. That's all it is. Because it, 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 had we done what we were going to do, it would have fit our purposes, but it doesn't anymore. So, you know, we're just going to go get the, we're probably just going to go get a trail. But I'm telling you, these suckers are fun to ride. <laughs> You're smoking me, man. I know. Put all the weight at the front. I Let got this rip. thing. I got this thing in six year, eight years, something. One time I got this sucker to go 36 miles an hour. You should have seen <laughs> it. I was like a blur on the road. You was flying. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy. They're so light. You know, you don't hardly feel like you know. Everything just feels like you have so much more wiggle room for any little air or whatever. You know what I mean? It, like, it's don't just have to worry about like falling over or nothing. Or any, you don't have to worry about that. I bet no, you're turning. I mean. Even if yeah. you're like dropping the bike, it's not enough. Like you can still catch 300 L. This thing's easy to catch. A 300 L, 300 L. Sometimes I've got far enough I couldn't hold it. Yeah, it, it gets tough. But this thing, I mean, it's hard to. It, well, and it's so low too yeah. that it's it's hard to drop like that at least. Right. Yeah, everything's such a low center of gravity. The weight it does have is down real low. Yep. So this is our first video ever on the minis, and the first video of him at all. This is probably what your third or fourth. He ain't rode the thing. I I rode it a bunch in like uh, like parking lots. I did uh, like a bunch of like little circles, and I was I was doing like a bunch of like leaning practice. I was doing standing leaning on this thing and right. a bunch of stuff. I just practiced in my balancing on it. I did a bunch of that over in some par empty parking lots. Right. That's why my mileage is just going little circles. <laughs> <laughs> doing, doing figure eights and stuff. I mean, I've had a blast every time I get on it. It's super, super fun. I, I wonder what be, I, I, I bet it'd be fun too, even just to take those things. I mean, you take, you can take those things anywhere, but I mean, just take them over to the motocross track and ride them up on the motocross track and rip them up. Right. That'd be fun. I guess one cool thing I've noticed about this, it don't have a gear indicator, but if you're doing 40, 45 down through here, you're definitely in fourth gear. You wouldn't be doing that. Yeah. You wouldn't be going that fast. So you know you're in high gear. Watch the gravel. Yeah, definitely watch the gravel. I've never been in this direction. I think we, no, we came here on the bikes once, down that way. Oh, did we? we came out from back, yeah, from back behind us, I think. I wanted to kind of zoom around in here a little bit, maybe go back over. Uh, toward that school parking lot because it might be a neat little place if the, if it's empty, you know. Mm -hmm. And we can we can just kind of look around over there and kind of compare the bikes. Yeah, I was saying there's some less well kept roads back over here. That's what I was thinking. I don't think I went down this way though. Well, this one's rough enough. It's almost like off road. Yeah, <laughs> it is for Grom. Right through here. Way to stop. Look at that. We got some dead ends. I mean, yeah, it's, it's chunked up over here. Yeah, it's in bad shape. Half hey, the places, like this trailer park, half of them is gone. Yeah. But it's kind of a weird little neat place to get on a mini. I imagine it's where they uh, burned their neighbor out. Yeah. You know, they didn't uh, like the neighbor, so burned him out. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Something happened. Hey, I'm off. Really all you gotta do is all you gotta do is uh, leave your microwave on uh, on your ramen, and the whole place goes down. I guess that's true. <laughs> <laughs> leave the ramen in there, dry. <laughs> Holy cow! I almost got air. Uh, what you do? Go across the dirt back there? Yeah, I got the suspension stretched out there about three quarters of an inch. <laughs> <laughs> This is just, the cool part about this thing is, no, it don't have a lot of power. It's not awesome power. It's not awesome suspension. It's not awesome speed. But it is a blast to ride. Yeah. This is just fun. That's what I was saying is you don't need a lot of power to have fun. You, yeah. just, you just need a good bike, one that's reliable, and, and, and it fits the kind of ride you want to do, you know? Mm -hmm. This problem, I mean, if you want to just... Zig, you know, you want to do some zigzagging, run around town, and mess around, and have something that's super cheap on gas, and you want a fun bike to ride. Yeah, it's perfect. I mean, you just, I mean, if 
if I worked in town, for example, something like this or even that still would be great for it. Right. Any any of these 125s would be perfect. I just rip this thing over to work. I only have to fill it up once every two months. <laughs> stop, let's stop here and switch. Okay. Dang. Well, I say stop. He hits the brake about rear ending. Oh, you said stop. I'm stopping. <laughs> Hope I can handle that beast. You're it gonna, you're gonna like that. It's well, that's fun. the color it's supposed to be. It's red. It's a Honda. It's it's that perfect Honda red. I don't know about that little bitty rack on this thing. Look at the size of the rack on that dude. I mean, you could haul a pig on that. Even that, the seating on that one feels really good. Okay, I don't know if I can use a clutch. <laughs> All you do is pull up. What's that? Just pull up. Oh. They're all up. It's so weird not having a clutch. I'm in second. Now, it's this not... thing feels a little bit more loosey-goosey in the front, you know? This is weird. I don't know if it's the power. I'm trying to feel if it actually has, it felt like when I took off there, like it had less power as far as just going. Now, except for I can drop the clutch and take off that one. You can't, well, you could. You could hold a gear shift up and take off that way, but yeah. So as far as just taking off, let's go up through there. You're uh, you can hold it. Stop. What? Stop right there. We we'll stop in the middle of the road. That's all right. <laughs> so we just want to kind of race up through here a little bit. But all you gotta do is just gas and go. I'll have to clutch. Yeah. Ready? Go. So I can definitely beat you on the takeoff because I have this clutch. You're gaining, and I'm wide open. Oh yeah, you're faster, no doubt about it. I can't, I can't touch that at all. I'm wide open. I hit fourth gear. So this, I thought when I took off on this one, I thought, well, this don't feel as quick. This one feels like it's got a little bit more. Yeah, you got a little more pickup on this. It's a little yeah. faster as far as uh, just get up and go, but this one may top out on the road better. I don't know. But five I think we're about to hit some gravel, too. Um, but, yeah, no, you can feel. This one feels like it has more jump to it. Right. Now, this one definitely feels dumpier you know you're if you're a bigger guy that one feels more roomy yeah i think and the and this one on the front end is, i guess it's also kind of weird because it's completely empty here you can't, yeah you can't squeeze the tank yeah it, <laughs> it feels a little bit more um like, like the front's more squirrely you know what i mean right like it feels more squirrely than that one is you, I, I think just, it's the the difference in the wheel diameter the tire diameter i don't know this that one maybe what it is this one does feel smooth and this, that one has a skinnier tire, of course. Yeah. I like both of them a lot, really. I do. It's it's hard to really say. I mean, you, like I said, it's if you want to go off road, you know. Yeah, you you definitely look. You don't look as big on that one, because the bike is bigger. Oh, okay, yeah. But this is somebody's private drive. Yeah, we went down here before. Turned around, didn't we? Yeah, we're turning around right here. Uh, it's not technically private yet, I don't think. It's it is up that way. Right, it just goes down to all these houses. Yeah, that uh, you definitely look like you fit that bike better than you do this. Listen, I got to look, and I'm bigger than you, so I definitely got to look huge on this thing compared to you. Look, you look good on that, like you fit it. Yeah, I, it's 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 mostly I think the waist up. Yeah. Because it just seems like the the distance from the bike to the ground and then you up is like you seem so big compared to you the ground for some reason. See my knee on the peg and look how close I am to my handlebar, my grip right here. Yeah. Now look at you. Put your foot on the peg. There you go. So now your handlebar might it probably hit your leg here. Close. Almost. You're, you're close to the same there. But right here when it's straight ahead and your foot's on the peg, you got yeah. a lot more room than oh, I do. Oh, it's a huge gap. Yeah, I guess it's right there to my hand. Yeah, so definitely standing up on this is not standing. That one standing up is really nice. This one, you're, you're, it's that dumpy here. Oh, this feels amazing. Oh, yeah, this one is like tiny. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. okay. See, this there, I'm humped over, and it just feels like a little bitty mini bike under me. That one didn't feel like that. See, that doesn't feel as bad for me because I'm like three inches shorter, so it's there's, not as bad standing up. Yeah, but. I can, there's no way I could do like you're doing, stand up on this. I can, this is as straight as I can get, and I'm really humped over here. 
Yeah, to do. <laughs> I still got to be forward a little bit. But yeah, uh, it's crazy. The weight is so low that any little movement of the feet, I mean, you can, you'll start turning yeah. the bike. Yeah, it's real easy. Flickable, I guess you call it. Yeah, that's exactly what, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's, it's so easy to flick this bike. Uh, we can go right. Oh, let's go left. Let's Yeah, let's go left. It also feels a little bit weird when I'm stopping. Because I think it's also because I'm looking for the, I'm looking to pull the clutch and all that. So I'm definitely on that one. I kind of find neutral, then I have to go back to first because I don't know where first is. Yeah, I'm the, I was doing the same thing. I have a hard time knowing what gear I'm in. That is the yeah, you're pulling I'm on just... me. And I'm I'm locked wide open, and you're pulling yeah. on me. And I don't even know if he's wide open, but get you the, definitely get, you get in this lane, I'm going straight. Watch this intersection. Yeah, I like that people, Corvette. Yeah, people are dumb. Yeah, you can tell this one has a little bit more yeah. to it. In, in, I was in surprised. The I, I figured the Grom would eat that one up. but I figured it would, too, honestly. Especially, I think, in clutch. I guess it don't matter once you're going. Yeah. And that's why on the takeoff, I got you. At the you, first the first part of the takeoff, because I can drop the dump of clutch and go, you got to kind of build up when you take off on that one. Yeah, but then we both get to 35, and they max out. <laughs> yeah, here, here you, you was gaining on me like crazy. Oh, yeah. Well, she still feels like it's got a little bit more to go when you hit 35. You know what I mean? Like, it, it feels like I got a little bit more. Yeah. When I put when I hit it to it, it still got, it feels like it's got a little bit more to go than that one does for some reason. Uh-oh. Ambulance. Great book. Welcome, students. Well, we're kind of students. I'm yeah. stu stupid. So this is where there's a motorcycle safety course. Oh, really? Yeah. Coming down, huh? Hey, remember I did it right before I got my bike. Yeah, I knew you'd done it, but I didn't know where. Yeah, this, so part of it's here and part of it's over at Cochise Motorsports. Oh, well, that's a big parking lot. That's why they do it, probably. Yep. They got Jump all off the... this curb here, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see all the lines painted out here for all the parts oh, of the course. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't run my blinker fluid out. I ain't got much. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, they painted, yeah. they painted new lines. This is all painted new. It was rough last time I was out here. They redid this parking lot. I see curves here. Okay, turn this way. Yeah, these are where these are where you do all the test parts. There's an S curve. Here we go. Yeah, they did, they have you do like the look lean, you know, follow through on the little curves here. You follow this little peanut shape. Okay, so we had our little ride on these bikes. This is thing. These things are a blast. I mean, lots of fun. Um, as far as which bike's the best, I couldn't tell you which one's the best. I mean, they're both pretty much the same motor. It, I think it just depends on who you are, what you do. Use case. Oh, it really? all comes down to use case. I, I definitely, if I was, if you're interested in a mini uh, moto like this, go set on them. And if they'll let you test ride one, that would be the way to do it. If they'll let you test ride one and see what fits you the best. Now, I definitely, I can tell you right now, just new bike like this, and you want to go off road at all, I would definitely get the trail. If you're just going to ride street, then the the ground's great too. So, but if you want to do a ton of building and stuff, you can make one of these into an off road. You can make you it want. into yeah. They got things that put higher fenders on it, front and rear, and then you put the knobby tires on it. And, uh, as long as you get a skid plate, I definitely want a skid plate. Which this one comes with a skid plate factory, which is rare. Honda never come with skid plates, <laughs> but it did. Uh, it's not like a beefy, heavy-duty skid plate, but it does have. Unlike the 300L, this is meant to go on the trail. Right. <laughs> so this motor is different. I can tell there is a difference in this motor. If you look at the side case, your this part here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is up reversed. front, and the and the filter is kind of down here. Oil caps right there. Now look at yours. Yeah, it's it may, reversed. Yeah, it's a Honda 125, but this is back here. Oil fill. Here's your oil filter. So it is different. Now yours is fuel injected too, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it. I don't see no. No, it is. Here. Which is cool. Fuel injected is nice because, especially 
around here, if you're down here and then you go up in the mountains, the difference in the elevation, you don't have to worry about it with fuel injected. So mono shock on this, dual shocks on that. It probably doesn't matter as far as which one's better because, I mean, they're not like they got great suspension anyway. But you do have inverted forks on this one compared to uh, the conventional style forks. And you see the big parts on the bottom. Yours is up here. These are more like the 300L forks, only miniature. But yeah, it's, uh, you definitely ain't gonna haul much on that rack. But you could put like that little tail bag that size is perfect for that. Yeah, well, and you can get like saddlebags or something to drape over to. But oh, there's people who make these into adventure bikes where they they go Komodo camping yeah, on them. Yeah, on, pull on micro mm -hmm. ADVs. That's crazy. One thing I like, I like that it has the mag wheels, aluminum wheels, so they're tubeless tires. This one has spokes and they're tubes, which is is fine. But if you have a flat, you got a tube. This one here, you could actually just stick a plug in it. You got riding, and carry some plugs with you. You get a hole in your tire, just stick a plug in, and you go on. This one, you're going to take it off, fix the tube. You just ain't going to plug the tube. So, anyway, super. I think these are both super cool bikes. But thank you all for watching Wizard Adventures. Click the thumbs up. We'll catch you all on the next adventure. Right on.